Hello everyone, and welcome to another video in my Intro to Programming series. In this video we're going to cover uh, the use of operators. And in particular we're going to cover addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication, division, uh, something called modulus, which I'll explain later, and casting, which I'll explain later. Uh, but first, um, I realized that in the in the previous video where we talked about data types, I didn't really show you how uh, how these would uh, uh, sh I guess demonstrate them in action. Uh, so what I've done here is I've taken the code from the, l the last video where we uh, created all these uh, variables with, of different vi uh, data types, and uh, I'm, I, I put a, a series of uh, lines of code here that's just going to print those values to the screen. So what this is going to do here, we have this, uh, uh, this set of commands here, and don't worry about, about it for right now for uh, um, you know, what it means and how to use it. Uh, but it's going to print this, uh, what's in quotes here, to the screen, except uh, this, this part that is in the, uh, in the braces is going to be replaced by the value of this variable. And so you can see this variable, we, d we made it minus 128 up there. This variable was made 255, and so on and so on. And uh, so when we run this, uh, we will get uh, uh, these values show up on the screen. And I'll do that for you. Okay, and so this is what it looks like when we run that, that program. Uh, and there you go. Now, something I noticed uh, when I was doing this is that I had fat fingered uh, a value up here and it. I capitalized the demo, I, or the E in demo, I didn't mean to do that. One thing to note is that if I come down here and I fix that, um, it's going to screw up my program because uh, these these variable names are case sensitive. So if uh, I if I change anything down here, it's not it's it'll treat if I change this to a lowercase e here, it's a different value than this. And so there's something to keep keep an eye out for if you once you uh, create that variable. You need to use the uh, use it in that form uh, throughout the program um, forever and ever. So, but uh, moving on to what this video is supposed to be, be about is operators. Uh, so, this is just a, a set of code that's going to demonstrate the the basic operators. And up here, you can see I'm creating an int, and I'm calling it x. And I'm setting it equal to seven. Now, something I haven't mentioned yet, and you've probably seen it, and, and if you're you're uh, new to this, you don't know what what's going on, uh, is uh, each line of code is ended in a semicolon. So if I don't put a semicolon in here, this isn't going to work right. Uh, so each uh, yeah, each line of code is ended in a semicolon. I'll get more into punctuation kind of as we go, I guess. Um, also create another int called y and I'm making that equal to 4 um, and those are going to be what I'm going to be uh, using uh, to demonstrate these operators. The next I'm going to create a int called z and uh, I don't need to actually assign it a number I can make it equal to uh, another variable or I can make it equal to a combination of variables and so what I've done here is I've made z equal to x plus y. And over here in a comment, and uh, you can tell these are comments because of the two forward slashes, and comments are essentially they're ignored by the compiler, it are just notes in the code so you know what's going on, you can come back to it later. And so I'm just noting here that x plus y equals 7 plus 4 equals 11. Okay? And next I'm using that, that uh, console write uh, uh, command again, so console dot write line, and it's going to write the value of x is, and it's going to replace this uh, these brackets and and the value here with x, what the value of x is, and so when this prints out on the screen, it should say the value of x is seven, and then same thing in this line, uh, the value of y is y, which is four. And then the value of z is x plus y equals, and then the value of z, which uh, we should we should see 11 there. Okay. Uh, 
I'm going to switch to the screen and, and see how that, that plays out. So there the value of x is 7, the value of y is 4, and then the value of z is x plus y equals 11. Easy, right? Okay, um, subtraction is the same way, uh, no surprises. Uh, so z equals, you notice that even though I set z equal to x plus y up here, I can change it as much as I like. It's, that's what a variable is. It's something that can change. Uh, so I'm, now I'm say, setting z equal to x minus y. So x minus y equals 7 minus 4 equals 3. And again, I'm going to print that out on screen. Now I say the value of z is now x minus y, which should be z. And th this is where you see it right here. The value of z is now x minus y equals 3. So that's correct. All right, uh, next one, uh, also pretty straightforward. Uh, I'll just show it's multiplication, same kind of form. Now you don't use, uh, you can't use an x to, to mean multiplication. In, in programming, we use the asterisk, which is over the 8 key, and that, that signifies multiplication. Um, so we should see 28 for that. And flip over here. There you go. The value of z is now x times y equals 28. Now, th this next one is one that, that will throw, uh, throw people off at first. Um, remember, we made z an integer, and x and y are also integers. Um, and so if we make z equal to x uh, divided by y, um, we look over here, x divided by y equals 7 divided by 4, which is 1.75, right? Wrong. Uh, because these are both, uh, because these are all integers, it's going to go, uh, if you think back to elementary school when you're doing long division and you always had a remainder, well, uh, this 4 goes into 7 once plus a remainder. And so the, the answer we're going to get here is 1. And you can see that right here. The value of z is now x divided by y equals 1. Okay? Tracking? Okay, now there's, there's ways that we can uh, make round up or down uh, when we're doing that, um, but I'll get into that later. If we really want to get this 1.75, we need to change the data type. And uh, so we can do that. So right here, I'm going to create a float. Remember from the, the last series, a float is a, has a decimal place. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a, a any real number. Um, and I'm, I'm creating a float called A, and I'm gonna do something called casting. Um, I, can, I can treat X and Y as float variables by putting float in front of them inside of uh, uh, a, uh, the brackets here. Um, so by doing putting this float here in brackets in front of the x, this this equation is going to treat x as a float rather than an integer. And the same thing for y right here. And so because they are then treated as floats, uh, so we're casting x and y well, as a float. And so now we have x divided by y equal equals uh, 7.0 divided by 4.0 and then we can get equals 1.75 and, uh, and so we did that and we're writing that to the screen you see we're writing a here, a here to the screen and uh, there you go a x divided by y is 1.75 and it and same operation here with the same values for x and y except one is using an integer the other one is using a float. So that's something important to keep in mind. Oh, wrong, wrong way there. Okay, so the next one is something that might be new to you, and it's called the modulus. Again, think back to uh, elementary school when you were doing uh, long division for the first time. And when you divided, uh, divided one number by another number, and you got a remainder. Well, that's what the modulus is. Um, so, well, actually, I messed this up here. I meant to write uh, x modulus uh, y, but it doesn't matter. Um, I have 4 in there, and y is equal to 4, so I'll get the same result. Um, 
So I may create another float called B and actually I messed this up. Well, it's going to do it this way because uh, X and Y, remember X and Y are both integers and I'm using an integer here so it's going to do integer math. And normally this is this only uh, holds true with integers and uh, sorry I screwed up but uh, um, basically what it's going to do is it's going to be uh, modulus is going to return the remainder of x divided by y or x modulus 4 equals 3. So if you divide 4 into 7 it'll go in one time and then you'll have a remainder of 3 and uh, that's what it put out over here. Now um, something to note if, if I would have uh, I don't think this would have worked if I would have actually had fl a float variable here because um, uh, typically this is only used for uh, integers or uh, you know, uh, well integers. So that's about it and uh, I think uh, uh, yeah so that's about it. Um, to review we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, uh, division and division by both integers and division by um, division by uh, floats and we also covered the modulus and how to cast uh, integers as floats. Um, visit my website and uh, we'll talk again soon.